a blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers back at it again you know, my peeps yeah man thank you all for checking this video out the love and support is very much appreciated all right so in this one we have a couple of things to look at firstly we're gonna zoom in on jamaica talawa's captain brandon king he recently did an interview with sportsmax and he had quite a few things to say as relates to captaining at that level he also spoke about test cricket and where his headspace is at you know quite a few people have been calling for him to uh, get a look in in the test team so we're going to talk about that plus we're going to be zooming in on the CPL some more today we have a double header yes my people and the aim is to try and do a watch along for the first game so just make sure you let me know what you all are thinking in the comment section and make sure that you subscribe if you ha have not yet subscribed all right so brandon king was talking to ricardo chambers and uh, and, and the other um host there on the sports max um i think he was on the sports zone and he he was speaking about taking over as captain for the jamaica Talawas. you know he was asked whether or not it came as a surprise and he basically said you know it wasn't too much of a surprise because once they I uh, found out that you know the decision has been made with Ravman Powell for him not to continue there. Um, they, they 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 had expressed you know that they wanted a Jamaican to captain the Jamaica franchise, and he was given that honor there. So you know he's saying that um, captaining at, at 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 this level is not easy. You know it, it's challenging but he's actually giving thanks for the teammates that he, he has around him because, you know, quite a few of them are pretty experienced as it relates to playing international cricket and franchise cricket. So, you know, he's able to bounce ideas off them based on what he's saying. Uh, prior to getting the captaincy there, uh, he has only captained at the club level. So a couple of people probably were wondering if he, if he has ever captained at any sort of level. You know, just at the club level, and I am assuming that, you know, he, he would have captained at the, at, the, at, the, at the school level also. But, you know, he's saying it's a learning process and he's looking forward to um, the challenge and, he, and, he, and he's really uh, ready to put his, his, his best foot forward for the team. You know, he's saying that the team is taking it day by, um, day, by day or game by game. Um, he spoke about uh, the pitch in Barbados saying that you know the, even though the last last game the, the pitch was good for batting so the team just needs to apply themselves some more and make sure that you know they are getting um, everything that they can out of the pitch you know he's saying that the aim right now is just to continue to do what they are doing with some sort of improvement to try and make the playoffs and then they would take it from there man is saying that you know there is not a lot of pressure being the defending champion because you know um, they just look to go out there and play cricket he also alluded to the fact that not a lot of teams win back to back um, titles in franchise cricket because of how competitive it is so the aim right now is to just um, continue to improve and to see if they can make the playoffs and then you know they, they would go from there um, you know so he, 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 the part that everybody is probably waiting on he spoke a lot about test cricket you understand and saying that um white ball has taken over most of his cricket because you know he had that breakout here in the cpl and then he got a look into the into the into the white ball team but he has always been a lover of test cricket and his dream is to play test cricket his dream is still to secure a cap for west indies in the red ball format you know um, when he broke on the scene a couple of years ago at regional level it was in a uh, red ball to, uh, game against trinidad and tobago where he made 71 so you know he's saying that that is always a long uh, a dream of his and once the opportunity comes up he's going to be playing test cricket you know he spoke about going to um to, to bangladesh the other day he spoke about playing in the in the in the headley weeks tri series you know it's all about getting in shape getting himself into the frame of mind to play red ball cricket but you know according to him 
it is definitely something that he wants to do it's just that you know there are certain things that he that, that he needs to improve on and he needs to make sure that i um, mean adjust uh whenever he gets the opportunity because you know in red bar cricket the ball tend to move move around a little bit more and you know the technique has to be solid and and and, and all of that but to counter that you have enough time to stay out there and bat and to relax and not under the pressure to score a four or a six every over so you know those are some of the things um, that he was talking about saying that it's a childhood dream of his to play test cricket so that is always going to be there and he's looking to get that done so you know he's saying that over the last six months to a year his game has really improved and he's just looking to continue to you know to, to, to put in this sort of work and once the opportunity comes where test cricket is concerned he will be grabbing it with both hands you know he said that the white ball schedule is so tight around the world right now not only with franchise cricket but the, you know the team national the international the national team or the international team is playing a lot of uh, white ball cricket also so you know it's it's it's, it's really difficult but um that is something that he, he has his mind set on and once the opportunity arise, or arises for him to play test cricket, he will be stepping up and he will be playing. Um, he, he was also asked about the position that, that he would like to bat, you know, saying that uh, anywhere from, from, I think he said anywhere from three to six would be good for him. But it depends on where the, 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 the coach wants him to bat and the sort of job that they want him to do for the team. So um if you all want to hear the, the that interview in its entirety it is still up on the sports max youtube channel so you can uh probably go ahead and, and and give it a listen as i said he sounds really passionate about playing test cricket so you know let us let us see how how that goes um because we we we, we, we don't see, see see where most of the cricketers are leaning towards right now so hopefully uh we will see brandon king um pretty soon playing red ball cricket there are quite a few things that he will need to improve and to work on obviously just like a, a lot of the cricketers that are playing test cricket you know um, you're, you're going to test cricket with any sort of flaws uh, bowlers bowling at 140 150 not only with the pace but with the skill set of lining up a batsman being able to target the wicket and being able to move the ball around and that is a whole different ball game so you know once he is once he is, is he has the um mind to play you know he just needs to get him himself together to play and, and that is exactly what he said all right so moving on uh, somewhat we're <laughs> still st uh, talking a little bit about the cpl so today we are gonna have um a couple of games a double header actually so we're gonna have uh the guyana amazon warriors taking on the same kids and nevis patriots at 10. i am putting this one out before 10 long before 10 so you probably have about four or so hours or three hours you know before before the game starts to hear this one so Ghana amazon warriors going out against the st kitts and nevis patriots and you know i like to do it my pick three as i call it you know not based off stats or anything this is just me going off good feelings just like when a man make a guess i am just or if or, or when yesterday said they have their um whichever players they think going going dominate so for the Guyana Amazon Warriors, I am backing um I am backing Shandopai Hemraj to come good in this game, you know. Yeah man, if they don't drop him, I am backing him to get some runs in this game. Uh Romario Shepard, as you know, is an X Factor. She hope always going to do his thing. Goody Kishimoto, quite a few guys on here that are expected to do them thing, but you know, I'm gonna go to left field as they would say, and I'm gonna select Shandopai Hemraj to to, to get to get the job done um for uh this time for for his team Romario Shepard as usual to do his thing and um she hope once again to 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 to, to do his thing right so that is the, what I'm selecting for that team uh for the St Kitts and Nevis Patriots the captain now is Sheffield Rutherford and I am backing him to play a very good innings once again um he played a good innings the other day after taking over um Dominic Drakes is also going to be good for them uh, and uh, Andre Fletcher to bring up a half century this time around you know not only go there and play a couple of no look shots and um, sixes and, and thing you know but to actually get a half century and push it uh, um, for, for his team you know 
uh, in the evening at 8 p.m. Don't know why we're having the games this late. The Barbados Royals will be playing the St. Lucia Kings. And that's going to be an interesting one right there for the Barbados Royals. Um, Alec Arthur is to spark again. You know, <laughs> and, and, and um, those who have been following this channel will know that I'm not jumping on the bag bandwagon where the youngster is concerned. But I have him to do well again in this one. And I have uh, the big rock, the big rock um, to, 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 to do well, you know. And, um, you know, let me see where else we can, we can go for. Um, I wonder if Obed Makai is going to finally give us a good four overs and take some wickets. Go and take a chance on Obed Makai and, uh, and work with him. Alright, for the St. Lucia Kings now, we're going to go um, Sean Williams to get a good knock. Uh, we're going to go, who else now? Who else are we going to go with again? Um, they wouldn't even give Javier Royal a game so we can drop him in it, you know? Good, good, good little spinner. Um, Rust and Chase, we don't know Rust and Chase thing already. Um, he usually performs for his team. And Jair McAllister, hopefully he gets a game. Don't know if he's going to get a game, but if he gets a game, I'm giving him the, 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 the nod to really get, 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 get the thing going. And Colin Monroe, if he comes straight in. So that is how it is looking for um, those couple of games. My peeps, I'm going to leave this one right here for now. Sports to the bone. Keep you informed. Big up.